Good morning, everyone. Today we're coming at you from Tennessee in Chattanooga. I go by the legend joined by my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. In this exhibit, we're gonna show you all around the Tennessee Aquarium. Starting off here with the River Journey exhibit. Yeah, I love the building and the outside, like yeah. the way they did it. Neat design. So the River Journey section of the aquarium starts with this big old escalator. It takes you up to the fourth floor. Then you kind of work your way down. So the first thing you see when you get off the escalator there, not really a, an animal exhibit, but a, a really cool view of the river here in Chattanooga. But it makes sense, you're in the river journey. That does make sense. First section we're gonna get to here is the Cove Forest. And also, that's an adorable sign for their, their door being not working yet. And into the Cove Forest we go. Wow. Really well done in here. It does look like a cove and a forest. So the first animal you get to in the aquarium is a personal favorite of mine. These are the North American river otters. And I like how they have above water viewing and below water viewing. They've got a bunch of them. And a, a really cool enclosure. Multiple waterfalls. Lots of area for uh, them to play with. And I like this too. It tells you who's on exhibit here at River Otter Falls. So you do have a really cool design element here where in this tree is a snake. I have to turn the camera back on here as one of the otters has climbed all the way up to the top of Otter Mountain. Very well designed exhibit here with some fish. The trout exhibit. Another exhibit here with lots of little fish. But I love how the design of it makes it look like it's attached to everything else. Yes, and you on the back side of water. Next up on the tour is the canyon. So I could definitely understand why they call this the canyon area. Lots of very, very large tanks in here. I mean, this one's got to be 20 feet tall. Oh, yeah. Looks like this does attach to that, uh, that cave forest area. And you've got more fish in here. Things like uh, trouts and perch and walleye. Very much a uh, catch and fish. I like how they all swim against the current. <laughs> what I have to imagine is probably gonna be one of the larger tanks in the aquarium here. You just see some divers in there doing some, uh, some tank maintenance and things like that. Look at that, that ray. That, that is a massive, massive ray. And I like how there's different levels of viewing. So you can view up here near the top of the river giants, as I'm assuming like different fish probably like to be on different levels. Mm -hmm. And you can see how giant they are because mm -hmm. you're pretty close to them. Yeah, these guys, are, they're, they're big. This... Very neat aquarium exhibit here. Next exhibit up is Discovery Hall which looks more like your traditional style aquarium with a lot of smaller tanks. Check out this turtle. Molly, do we know what type of turtle this is? I do not, no. Neither do I, but it, it's, uh, the color on it's really cool. Now this exhibit, it looks like if you were visiting during a non-global health situation. It's a yellow blotched map turtle. A yellow blotched map turtle. You could probably go in that pop up there, take some cool pictures, get some cool views. But not today. Today you just get to see this really, really neat turtle. This one's kind of like playing Where's Waldo. And over there you can see a little tiny baby alligator. I do like how they have the, the underwater viewing too. So you can see what the rest of his body looks like. 
One animal I always like seeing at zoos or aquarium is the hellbender. Unfortunately, this guy is hiding all the way in the back of the exhibit, so you really can't get a good look at him. Chilling here in a cool pose. That is a barking tree frog. I would assume this is probably normally a touch tank exhibit, right, Molly? Mm-hmm. Interesting, though, because it's not something you normally see for sturgeon. No, not at all. Hopping around down here, you've got some poison dart frogs. They've got a lot in here, too. These guys are really neat. I always think they look like they're made out of plastic. Also, cool to see them hopping around. A lot of times you see these guys in zoos or aquariums, they're just kind of standing there doing absolutely nothing. Like this, too, on the wall over here, you've got a poison dart frog going full Spider Man on the glass. Look at the little, the little paws. This exhibit here, you got a turtle that has buried itself in the sand. And, and some little fish. Uh, also, fun names over here. You've got the, the sailfin molly. That's funny. And then you've got some weird names, like the fat sleeper. That's the best name for a fish. Or the hog choker. The next exhibit is Delta Country. I'm not quite sure what that is. So the Delta Bayou exhibit, it's really neat. Uh, over here, you got an exhibit with five different types of turtles in it, including this dude swimming around. And a larger turtle down here and other types of fish. So I mean, this is kind of like your, your swamp exhibit. And then you're, you've also got alligators. Know that the American alligator was almost extinct in 1950s. Really? Now, yeah. now they're everywhere. Yeah, they were all time low, and now you can't hunt them. In 1973, they uh, were repopulated due to that long. I have no idea. These are smaller alligators, too. Like, these are not some of the ones you'll see at like a Bush Gardeners or a Gatorland. Yeah. And then down here, you've got an alligator snapping turtle who's very, very large. Unfortunately, we kind of got the business end but uh, you also got cool underwater viewing of the gators. You know, our buddy Ken, this would be his favorite area of this aquarium, as there's yet another turtle exhibit. I love when they're swimming against the glass like that. Oh, let's see what else we, we got ducks in here too. Turtles and ducks and... Turtles hanging out over there on a log. Birds, apparently. Also got one of these longer neck turtles here. Here you get uh, some more snakes. Now living in Florida, I, I don't mind seeing an alligator, but I really get terrified anytime I see a snake. Uh, this one does have a cool hiding spot though. Mm -hmm. And then there's more turtles in here. It's a tortoise. A tortoise, sorry. So in the Delta Country exhibit, you do get a little alcove, like a curved alcove, to look at the river giants. And it's neat because you get different fish. Well, not different fish, but different views of fish. Yes. Like we get a great view of the rays. They're wonderful animals. Yeah, they're big too. Those are very large rays. In case you guys couldn't tell, I really like this River Giants exhibit. You do walk past it in different places in different levels like, and see different things. Like, look at the size of this catfish. Rivers of the world. I would say the Rivers of the world area does feel a bit on the older side. And more turtles. This aquarium, I think, has more turtles than any aquarium I've ever seen. I know they, they are celebrating the year of the turtle here in 2020 at the aquarium, but uh, there's there's a lot of turtles. And this, this is a pig nose turtle. I wish you could see his little face. It's a wide river, which is New Guinea. It's the longest river. We've got a couple different things in here, but our favorites are these uh, crocodile lizards. 
Yes. They blend in so well. Like, look at the, the camouflage on that guy there. Pan slowly. You've got two more over here. It's a really cool animal. <laughs> and then all the way in the back, you do have a turtle in kind of a cool pose as well. If my camera wants to focus on this. Nope, it really likes that leaf instead. <laughs> there we go. Hi. Yep, I found you. This exhibit's for the Volga River, which is the longest river in Europe. And they've got a, a bunch of sturgeon in here. Up next is one of the world's most famous rivers. It's the Amazon. And when you think Amazon, of course you think piranhas. And they're vicious little mouths. Piranhas, I always think, are not the most interesting aquarium animal, unless you get to see them during feeding time. And then they might be one of the most interesting aquarium animals. Moving around down there, moving rocks around. That is a, an electric eel. It was very active, swimming right towards us. Yeah, you don't usually see eels that active. No. Look at him go. Very neat, very neat animal. The next exhibit is for the Congo River. This one's labeled the Malibu Pool. But the, our favorite in here, Molly, is this elephant nose fish. It's so cool. It's neat as well. Next one is a traditional Japanese koi pond. Kind of fun to see these guys at sort of eye level. Normally you always view koi ponds from above. Small exhibit here for the American Sicilian. This looks like kind of like a sea snake. Nice side tank next for Lake Tanganyika in Africa. Uh, the main attraction here are these humphead chichilids. Camera doesn't want to focus on. <laughs> this exhibit here is for the freshwater pipefish. They're family members of the seahorse, which kind of resembles. Yeah, they, I, I can see it. I can see it. Uh, some of them are really small, especially like these smaller ones. Definitely look like seahorses. Mm -hmm. These creatures have some really strong camouflage. That is a mossy frog. They've got a couple of them in here. They're really hard to see. But uh, they're fascinating. <laughs> Gotta say this next one probably makes a ton of sense. The Tennessee River. I think it's right next to us probably. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on here. The Tennessee River is either just this picture where we now go into a special exhibit about the turtles of the world. Only in Tennessee. Yes, the, <laughs> the turtles of the world that can be found in Tennessee. Hmm. Very bright in here. And more turtles. That toes is a turtle posing. Yeah. Very well. If you're a posing animal, you get a featured shot. This exhibit features all endangered turtles. All right, let's get ready for some cuteness. It's the turtle nursery with all itty bitty tiny turtles. And tortoises. And tortoises. Look at that long neck turtle there. Not a lot of movement from these little guys. Oh, they're so tiny. Look at them. Look how small they are. In comparison, like, there's my hand. Oh, and these guys down here, the little box turtles. They go up to seven inches. Mm -hmm. not seven inches. Yep. Lots and lots of babies, which makes sense, because they have every turtle known to man. 
Oh, uh, this one's trying to escape. The spotted turtle? Mm hmm. They're endangered. No. 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 Look, they're just undangered. Here are the snake neck turtles. They, they look fake. Like, these guys look like they are out of a Dr. Zeus book or something. And they grow pretty big, too. Yeah, they're really, really neat. A couple of them. In here. And then, Molly, I think we're done with the turtle. And we go back to Tennessee River. Back to the Tennessee River. Tennessee River is home to a, a nice exhibit here with a, with a dock. What else do we got? This one is done up like a trashed lake. So these, these animals get to live with a tire and an oar and stuff like that. Pollution. Uh -huh. The glass is very clear though. Here's a paddlefish. What a... They can grow massive 87 inches. Oh my goodness. Look at that nose. Oh, good. He's, he's showing it off for us. <laughs> that is something. So I was disappointed earlier because we did not get a good look at the hellbender. But there's another one over here. While not moving around, you get a really good look at him. So if the paddlefish weren't weird enough, there's a paddlefish with its mouth open. What an, a weird thing. Great view here. You just get an idea of just how big some of the tanks are in this aquarium. With that, that Tennessee River tank, it's probably 30 feet tall. I really, I really enjoy the design that they've got going on here, where you start at the top and circle your way down, and there's exhibits on the offshoots. These guys are very... These fish are kind of like mesmerizing to watch these guys. The uh, very relaxing, this tank. The Red Devils. Not a relaxing name. <laughs> Another large tank here. This is the Amazon Flooded Forest. Really big tank. See, there's Molly. And there's the tank. And like any attraction, you exit through the gift shop. Oh my, look at the little otter. With his vest. Oh, look at the little otter. He's got a, he's got a Tennessee Aquarium vest on. So the Tennessee Aquarium is in two separate buildings. And now we're going to go into building number two to check out the ocean journey. Do you think there's penguins? I really hope so. <laughs> also, there's penguins on the sign. So now I'm going to be disappointed if there's no penguins. And just like the river journey, the ocean journey begins with a a series of escalators to get you up to the top. So before you get into the Ocean Journey exhibit itself, they have a, just some rocking chairs if you want to hang out and take in the view. I think I'm probably more interested in this rainforest type area. So this rainforest area exhibit is neat. You've got a, a lemurs, and it looks like the lemurs can run and play in a, a lot of different areas. And then there's an aquarium below with some interesting fish, including, look at this ray. A tiger ray. Tiger ray is beautiful. It's like 32 inches. Good news, we found the lemurs. Oh, hi. Welcome to the video. Thanks for climbing. I find it interesting, the lemurs are paired up with some turtles. Tortoises. They're paired up with some tortoises. They've got a decent number of lemurs. I mean, I see four right here. Oh. And they're really close. Yeah. Normally, I feel like a lot of them have, like, they're on an island and yeah. far away. Cool. I like the turtle, the tortoise. He's heading towards that lemur. Time to become friends. No, they're not. We do have a touch tank exhibit over here with more rays and looks like a horseshoe crab is swimming by and some fish. Ooh, look at him. Let's get 
came with the key. Yeah. Oh, it's going right over to Like feeding me. I love how you have the glass as well. The rainforest section is home to the butterfly garden. Unfortunately, based on the current conditions, it's not temporarily closed with the restrictions on international flights disrupting their supply chain. Molly, we made it. We did Peng it. Penguin Rock. And you find the top 10 reasons why penguins rock. Picture taken next to some penguin statues. Number nine, there are 17 penguin species in the world. And here they are. Ooh, it definitely looks like it's a penguin molting time here at the aquarium. It's like you got emperor penguins and rock pepper penguins in here? Yes, they're not all the same size. It's like number 10 that you skipped. Oh, I did miss number 10. Number eight, tuxedos provide more than a great look. Penguins really know how to fish is number seven. Number five. Penguins are great parents. Stay warm, even in cold weather. Unfortunately, number two. Penguins have predators on land and in water. Let's see. Number six, I've already read. I do like the little alcove area too. Let's go check this out. Number four, penguins has more feathers per square inch than most other birds. Uh, other fun facts about penguins, they're better than most other birds because they're penguins. <laughs> There's so many uh, species of penguins. Mm -hmm. oh, here's a... Now have we figured out which ones are in here, Molly? Uh, no. I know it's definitely the rock hoppers. They're easy to tell. I don't know about the other ones. I guess Gen 2 penguins. No, yeah, because they don't look like they're big enough to be king or emperor any. penguins. Oh. Uh, Gen 2 penguins. So I like this. They tell you if you look at the bands, you can find out the penguins' names. They got some cute names: Beaker, Nipper, Poncho, Pebbles, Bug. Flower, Peep, Big T, Biscuit, Blue, Roxy, Bigfoot. Biscuit. Biscuit. That's a great name. Noodle, Cheddar, Merlin, Bacon, Chaos, Shamrock, and Hercules. All right, Molly, this one's your favorite here. The one with the green tag. Yes. His name is Biscuit, which means he probably was born and he was uh, soft and, and warm and fluffy. <laughs> Biscuit. Next up is the Secret Reef. Here we go. This is a very large tank as a shark swims by. All sorts of fish in here. Also, it's kind of different for a, in a big aquarium tank to have like large rocks and stuff inside of it. Like that, that's not a design feature you see in a ton of aquariums. I imagine we'll probably get some plenty of views of this thing. A fun photo opportunity here as Molly's in the shark cage. See, it's terrifying. You can easily, like, well, the one that I went into, you could slip through the bars if you wanted to. Terrifying. Ah, well, at least the shark's gonna come in. Well, yeah. Kudos to you for doing that. I don't know if I could do that. Yeah, I was dumb. <laughs> here is view to number two of this giant, giant tank. Massive window here, probably 30 feet tall. It's a really pretty tank for a reef. There are 25 species of living coral in this reef. I don't know if I can find them all. And uh, you know, you, you get kind of a Finding Nemo thing going on as well in here. Yeah, that looks like a clownfish over there. Uh, oh yeah, and there I think there's a dory fish there too. <laughs> but uh, the coral and the lighting is perfect in here. Yes. Here's the zoo's jellyfish exhibit. And uh, what they've done with the lighting is awesome. The different colors. There's like four tanks, all kind of different colors. And then this one whose colors change. Very cool, very mesmerizing. 
and then you got more jellyfish over here. Yeah, wow. Don't get the best view of them, but with those tentacles, that is a giant Pacific octopus. And they have two different tanks of them as well. So they have another one over here. That one's very hidden in the rocks. Yes. Also, what's very interesting, as enrichment, SpongeBob Square. They pants. gave him a SpongeBob. Here's a giant spider crab. These guys are like monster movie kind of stuff. Uh, there is a pop-up not being used right now. Looks like they got three of these giant crabs in here, but only one that's standing up. Not doing a whole lot, but this is a cuttlefish. They actually have a, a quite a few in their collection here at the aquarium. None of them are particularly doing anything too exciting. Another view here of the big tank. The shark with the teeth swimming past. A ray swimming past. Really, really nice tank here. There is a big sea turtle in here as well. If I see him float by, I'll definitely put him on camera. So in a way over there, you can see the big sea turtle. Or more sharks. Yeah, and a lot of sharks. The next exhibit up is Island Life. And uh, you got a beautiful tank full of tropical fish here. And coral. And coral. Coral's living things, don't forget about it. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not. I like the tank. It's pretty. These are emerald tree monitors. It's a very cool exhibit. This will not work on camera at all, but these little portholes, you slide down the knobs, then in there is flashlight fish, which are like little glowing fish. We got a Madagascar day gecko over here. I believe that is the type that the Geico insurance icon uses. Also in this tank, looking around, is a chameleon. That eye. Got a whole bunch of clownfish over here. There's 30 different species of clownfish. I had no idea. Yeah. And then that, that noise behind us is this exhibit here, based on Vancouver Island, has like a wave machine that you can see going. Not seeing too many fish in here. I think they're in the back. Whoa! And there goes that wave machine. You see the fish bobbing around. The undersea cavern is next. And oh wow, it's really well done in here. Definitely looks like a cavern. Mm -hmm. And I believe this cavern is underneath the big giant tank. So they, they are really getting their value. Oh yeah, there's a scuba diver too. Out of that big shark tank. I love it in here, like all different types of windows and, and things like that. And the, the theming level with the caverns, top notch. I cannot imagine how expensive this exhibit must have been to build. Yeah, it's a giant mm -hmm. tank. I thought I saw a bubble from the top. Mm -hmm. There's the sharks again. Looks like down bottom, there's smaller fish live down near the bottom.
And that will do it for our time at the Tennessee Aquarium. Uh, a little bit of the information, we were here for about two hours to see all the animal exhibits. Uh, not an inexpensive place to visit. If you want to go to the aquarium, it's $34 for adults to get into. If you want to add on an IMAX movie, uh, which we're going to do, we're going to see that in a little bit of a 3D IMAX movie all about turtles. Um, for the combo ticket with the IMAX and the aquarium, it is $42. So, you know, it, it's kind of a, a little on the pricey side, I would say, but it's, it's a very nice and very well done aquarium. Yeah. Uh, we were lucky enough to visit on a Tuesday morning, so there was not a lot of people here, so it was peaceful. And uh, some of their exhibits were really top notch. I love the otter exhibit. And then the giant, giant tank with the sharks mm -hmm. that you see from like every angle. I loved how they did the lemurs and the tortoises together. Yes. It was a weird pairing, but I loved it. Mm -hmm. And just a lot of, I would say if you're a turtle fan, mm -hmm. this is a, a must visit because there's pretty much every type of turtle I think imaginable outside of like the big Thousands. giant. Thousands. Outside of like your Galapagos or your Alderbrook turtles, is you, like, you, they've got everyone there. Um, so I enjoyed my time here. A yeah. uh, little expensive, not sure I would rush back because it is uh, a bit of a, you know, and then we got to pay like $10 to park the car. I think it's one of the better aquariums we've been to though. Yeah, I would it's say, I would, I would definitely agree three. with that. Yeah, but I mean, I would say Georgia is the, the by and far the number one. Correct. I think I probably prefer the shed over this one as well. But then we are also not the biggest aquarium experts. Like we could talk very highly of uh, zoos or theme parks, aquariums. We go to them on occasion. Yes. But this one, pretty solid. And nice I'm, exhibits. Yeah, if, you, if you're in the area, check it out. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video here on the Tennessee Aquarium. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.